What's going on, everybody? Coach Brian Klopacki coming at you at criticalbench.com. Thanks for watching. I'm a certified strength coach, and I'm sharing with you how to do the renegade row with dumbbells. Okay, so the renegade row, awesome exercise. Definitely a little more challenging, so this is not a beginner's exercise. This is more for intermediate and advanced fitness enthusiasts, but it's also great for developing um, strength, power, and also stability. So if you're an athlete, this is a great exercise for you to use. Now I see a lot of people in the gym, they m don't use this exercise properly. Um, the reason why I say it is because they turn this exercise from a row into a twist. So what I'm showing you is the renegade row, not a renegade twist. There is a difference, and I'll show you the difference here in just a second. But what I recommend is, you could see the dumbbells behind us, they're circular. I like to use hex dumbbells for this particular exercise. The reason is, is because our hands are going to be balancing on the, the, the bar of the dumbbell, so you don't want it to roll back and forth too much. Now I say that you know, lightly because obviously you can use circular uh, dumbbells, which is fine, um, but if you have option to do hex, I prefer the hex, so you're a little more under control. So this is what it, the setup looks like. You're in pretty much push-up position, feet. Uh, the wider you go with the feet, the more stable you become because eventually you'll be picking up one arm. Obviously that's the row. So I would start out wide and then as you pull, you're pulling the weight right to your stomach. And notice I'm not doing anything with my upper body. I'm rowing. I'm pulling my arm, pulling the dumbbell to my side. I'm not twisting like this. That eliminates the row, it turns it into a twist. Sure, yeah, you're still rowing a little bit, but if you really want to focus on the rowing portion of this, keep your body as stiff as possible, pull that dumbbell in, lock your lats in, and then relax on the way down. To make this exercise a little more challenging, like I said, bring your feet a little bit closer, go up in weight, but also go up in repetitions, or go a little slower, okay? So again, this is a advanced, more advanced exercise. So if you're just trying this out or just brand new to exercise, go without weight or even five, 10 pounds just to see how this exercise feels. So other than that, that's all I want to share with you on the Renegade Row. There's a report that we wrote, it's called the five best core killer exercises. It talks about things um, that are useful for the core and how to hit your core without doing crunches and sit-ups. Um, so you definitely want to check it out. It's, uh, it's a free report. One of two ways to get it is to go to this corner right here. See where I'm pointing? There's a little tiny arrow under this video. Click that arrow, that's gonna drop open up our video description area. You'll see the link at the top, criticalbench.com slash core killers. Click that link, give us your email, and we'll send you that report right away. Uh, an easier way to get this report is simply click right here. Go ahead and do that. Give us your email, and again, we'll send you that report right away. Subscribe to our channel by clicking here, and check out this video that I know you're gonna find helpful as this one. That's all I've got for you. I'm Coach Brian with criticalbench.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.